Originally, this video is going to be about what's going on in the crypto market, but Coinbase, damn. That was a bad joke, man. I mean, I, I checked my account along with a lot of other people, man, and your account showed a balance of $100 billion. Yeah. We, we, we thought life was good for a minute. Um, seemed like it was a, a problem with the system, a glitch. Um, not necessarily a hack, but a glitch in the system because you couldn't withdraw the funds out, which was... Uh, which was kind of a bummer, kind of sucked, but uh, we got the dream for a little bit. We got the dream for a little bit. So this, this look at this opportunity we got today, guys. Those ones who had it. If you don't know, Coinbase had a glitch. Everybody accounts went crazy. Um, Ripple went to about $22 million um, a coin. And uh, a lot of other coins went berserk. And uh, it took everybody's portfolios through the roof. It looks like from what I've observed is that on mark on coin market cap, it seems like all the charts are drawn off that. So like on Coinbase charts, the coin market caps charts, it seems that all those charts are intertwined. So I guess with uh, when one goes down, all three of them goes down, or however many of them there is. So yeah, we dream for a minute. But anyway, I want to make this video about what's going on with the current market, right? A lot of the people know what's going on with the um, the new COVID variant, the uh, Omicron. Or whatever we're going to call it, they got a new variant to come out to every 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 freaking couple months, right? Then you have uh, the United States got 800 uh, COVID-19 associated deaths, like one of the highest in the world with India uh, and then another one another country I can't remember. Um, so that's affecting the markets a lot. Um, you have also, I, I think a lot a lot of issues that everybody talk about is pretty much the uh, the COVID-19 variants, the actual uh, the Federal Reserve Bank uh, with inflation and how they have a problem with uh, maintaining inflation. Uh, with the Federal Reserve Bank, I think is the biggest issue because now, like markets thrive off speculation, right? We have a mass adoption going on in cryptocurrency to where you know a lot of these financial institutions are intertwined now in crypto because now they're invested in the space. And we're at a different time compared to last year. Last year we was in the middle of a pandemic, right? And but this time you had millions of Americans, I mean around 30 million Americans receiving unemployment of like six hundred dollars per week. Now that rate has reduced to around 350, 370 on average nationally, right? And you have right now is around seven million Americans that uh file for unemployment claims. Okay? So you gotta take all these type of numbers into perspective because you can see that Black Friday numbers was down, Cyber Monday numbers was down, and not only that, in November you had the highest inflation rate in the last 40 years was at 6.8% inflation rate, right? So what this, what this also goes to show is that the money that was being printed out last year, which was a massive amount, because just in that time frame, time frame last year, the Federal Reserve went from like a $4 billion, excuse me, a $4 trillion balance sheet to an $8 trillion balance sheet, all right? So that just goes to show you how much money they've been printing. And right now, the Federal Reserve Bank is still printing $120 billion a month. And that's a lot of cash being printed out. And this is why we had a problem with inflation that we have right now. A lot of people aren't associating these things together, man. That's why I love talking about economics and how these things intertwine because everything has to connect. And that's that's where we get this problem in with inflation. Like I told you guys, when they print this money out to go ahead and take it because eventually you're gonna pay for it anyway. Because the more they put in circulation, the less it's worth, right? That's why the prices of foods, goods, and services are going up. That's what inflation is. Inflation is a hidden tax on goods and services. This is why it's very important for us to invest now. All right? This is why we must invest because things like this is happening. All right? You have these um, these government officials in the Federal Reserve Bank, you know, buying these mortgage-backed securities, which is inflating the market. But now, with inflation raising its head, the only tool that the Federal Reserve Bank has to combat that is to do what? Raise interest rates. What does that do for us? What does raise interest rates do for us? That makes everything goes up as far as our credit card payments that we have on our debt, our student loan uh, uh, payments debt, um, our mortgage payments, anything that has interest rates, it makes it goes up. So what is it gonna do for the consumers? Make it more unattractive to purchase, right? Right now we see a big frenzy going on in the housing market with people paying over 30% of the asking price nationally, okay? And what's gonna happen with these uh, interest rates going up, it's going to deter people from buying because now you got a higher interest rate than other people were able to come in at. Because right now, interest rates is around zero. You know, people are getting like 3 to 4% interest rates, right? But when the Federal Reserve 
in order for them to combat inflation, they're going to have to increase interest rates, which is going to screw us ultimately because that's going to screw the economy as well because consumers are not going to be able to purchase. If they already can't purchase, they don't have the money to purchase anyway, right? Last year, we seen uh, this facade happen because they was giving money out freely. They was printing money. They was giving out stimulus checks, right? They was giving out uh unemployment at $600 a week for people that wasn't even receiving that money on the regular paychecks, right? So you had all this influx of cash happening last year, which caused us to put our blinders on, right? Now we're getting a reality check as to what's really going on and we're really starting to see the effects of it. That's why the markets are down, which is the stock market is down, you know, and also the cryptocurrency market is down. You know, all this affects these markets because it's all about liquidity and liquidity is drying up. Yes, the Federal Reserve Bank is still printing $120 billion a month, but it's going towards mortgage-backed securities. But like I said, the markets thrive off speculation. So even though um, they're still printing this money out, with them being speculated to stop before June, because uh, the inflation, they're not supposed to um, increase interest rates until least June, but now they're saying they might push it up to March. So just from them thinking that, it has the markets in a little frenzy today. All right? So... I just want to put things into perspective, man, as to uh, what's going on. If you're new to cryptocurrency, it's going to take you at least, um, I would just say, like, this is called getting skin in the game. Like, if you don't have at least a year in a cryptocurrency space, you might not be at a win right now. If you got into cryptocurrency space in this late last quarter or, or second half of the year, you might not be in a plus. But this is normal in the cryptocurrency space. Uh, if you know anybody that's been purchasing crypto, this is how these flows happen. But Bitcoin has not dropped down to its uh, previous record highs, uh, which was 20000 before it hit the this, this 60000 So it's, it's still up over 50%, right? I think uh, today Bitcoin's around 48000 today. You know, so a lot of people are still in the plus. What I'm trying to tell those newcomers is that, you know, with crypto, you're going to weather the storm. Like this thing is going to be around for, for, for a while. So, the, you know, the earlier you adapt, the better. Um, but just don't, just be patient and, uh, you know, just watch the market. Um, what I'm looking for next year, man, I think the beginning of 2022 is going to be huge. Uh, one of the best things I'm looking for, uh, next quarter is the metaverse opening up. So what I've been trying to do is invest as much as I can before the new year starts to invest in this meta world, whether it's through NFTs, purchasing land, um, uh, buying into crypto, um, currencies that's, Going to be dealing heavy in the metaverse like sandbox decentraland these are how you you know invest in things in the future when you see it coming you know what i mean like i said this is all my personal opinion this is not your financial advice you know do your own research like i tell everybody man question everything you know the more you question the more answers you find but yeah just want to give you guys an understanding as to what's going on uh in the crypto space and like i said give it some time and beginning next year i think it's going to be a huge year for us Right now, we just got to weather the storm uh, and see what happens. All right, this is Jay with Cryptocurrency or Jay with Organic Money. Peace.